Hello, today we're working on Foundations Unit 13, Week 1, Day 4. And the objective is that today we will be learning how to break apart and build two-syllable words with suffixes. We're going to start with our sound card drill. Make sure you say the letter or letters, the keyword, and the sounds along with me. D, dog, d. K, kite, k. M, man, m. Mm. V, van, m. Mm. T, H, thumb, f. A, apple, a. Ah. A, safe, a. E, ed, e. Eh. E, p, e. I, itch, e. Eh. I, pine, i. O, octopus, a. Ah. O, home, o. U, up, a. Uh. You mule you, you rule oo. A R car R. O R horn or. E R her er. I R bird er. You are burn er. A I bait a. A Y play a. E E G E. E A Eat, e, E, Y, key, E, O, I, coin, oi, O, Y, boy, oi, O, A, boat, O, O, E, tow, O, O, W, snow, O, O, W, plow, ow, O, U, trout, ow, O, U, soup, oo, O, O, school, oo, U E blue oo, U E rescue you, E W chew ew, A U August ah, A W saw ah. Great job. Remember, if you're having a tough time with any of those, rerun the video and go through them again, or pause the video and practice them on your own. Today, for our trick word review, I'm going to have you find five different trick words. So, we're going to do this quickly. And after we find the five, we're moving on. So the first word I'd like you to find is own. Like I own a backpack, own. O-W-N, own. Find the word friend, like that is my friend. F-R-I-E-N-D, friend. Find the word number, number. I have the number two, number. N-U-M-B-E-R, number. All right, find the word was, like I was having fun, was. W-A-S, was. Find the word put, like put that pencil down, put. P-U-T, put. All right. If you want to practice any of those trick words, remember you can just pause the video and go through them on your own. Today we're going to make some words. So there's word parts all over the board. We need to put them together to make words. Every single one of the words has two syllables and every single one of the words has a suffix. So the first thing I'm going to do is move my suffixes over to the side. So I know I have my suffix S. Oops. I know I have my suffix ing. There's a suffix ed. And then there's also a suffix ing again. So that tells me I must be making four different words. Okay, now I'm going to try and put some of these syllables together. So I see bath. Do you see a word part, a syllable that can go with bath? Could I say bath fin? No. Could I say fin bath? No. Hmm. Bath ish? Bath ish? No. Oh, here's tub. Bath tub. That sounds like it could work. Bath tub. Now, could I say, could I add the suffix s to it? Bath tubs. Bath tubs would work. Could I do bathing? No. Could I do ed bath, bathed? 
Bathtubbed? No. Bathtubbing? No. So bathtubs is the correct word. Bathtub, and then with the suffix s, bathtubs. All right, let's look for our next word. Let's see if we have the word in, or the syllable in. In pub? No. In ish? No. Invent? Mm, that makes sense. Invent. Now, could I put inventing? Yeah. Could I put invented? Also correct. So because I have two INGs, let's put one of those there and see if we can make the rest of the words with the ED and the ING. Okay, so I have invent and then with the suffix inventing. All right, let's look at pub. Hmm. Pub and pub again. Huh. Pub fin. Hmm. Pubish. Hmm. I'm not sure. This is tricky. We're gonna have to move these. Let's start with fin. Here's finish. Finish, like you finish your work. Finish. Ooh, finished. Like you already did it. Finished. Now I'm stuck with pub and pub. I guess pubbing, pub pubbing, these must be extra pieces that we're not going to use. So we'll just move those over here. Okay, let's look at the words we made. We have bathtubs, inventing, and finished. Great job. Okay, now we're gonna go through and practice some words that we have already learned. I'm going to do these quickly with you. We're just going to scoop the syllables. So I want you to try and read it and then I'll scoop the syllable and we'll read it together. So the first word is mistake, mistake. We would scoop it miss, take. And we have this long vowel A here because of our magic E. So mistake is that word, mistake. All right, next word. Ah, that's the word inside. So I'll scoop inside. Great job. And then the I is saying I. That's why we've got that magic E. Inside. What's the next word? Baseball. So I'll scoop base ball. And I have the long vowel A here and the A-L-L -L glued sound, which is why it's all baseball. All right, next word. Try and read that one. Campfire, so I would scoop camp fire. And we've got the long I there, campfire. All right, next word, costume. So we've got costume, costume. And the U is saying you, costume. All right, next word, vampire. Vampire, long I sound, vampire. We also have the A-M glued sound in this word, vampire. All right, read the next word. Absent, so we have absent, absent. All right, last word, invent, invent. Great job reading with me. So remember, I didn't mark everything on those words. We were just practicing scooping those two syllables each time. Now, before we move on to your work, I want to remind you how to mark up all of the things that are in two-syllable words with suffixes. So remember, when you're spelling and marking two-syllable words, always look for that suffix first to make sure you've got that out of the way. We circle the suffix so you can pay attention to the base word. Then you can scoop and mark the base word. So we'll look at the first word. This is the word baseballs. In the word baseballs, there's a suffix. Which, which suffix is there? The suffix s. So I'll go ahead and take that off. And then I can look at my base word. The base word is baseballs. So I've got base and the a is saying a. I'll give it the macron. The e is saying nothing. I'll mark it vowel consonant e. B 
because that's the syllable type. And then my second syllable is ball. B all ALL is a glued sound, so I'll just mark that glued sound and I'm done. There's technically a bonus letter here, so you can start the bonus letter if you would like. But because it's already marked in the glued sound, you don't have to, just like we don't have to mark the sound of the A because it's part of the glued sound. All right, let's look at our next word. What suffix is on this word? The ED. Remember, the ED means you already did it. So this word is indent as the base word, indent. And then with the ED, indented, like you indented something. Maybe you kicked a dent in it and it's indented. Now, if we break it up, indent is our base word. So we'll scoop in. I is making its normal vowel sound. And then I'll mark it C for closed. Oops, I also forgot to mark this suffix or this syllable C for closed. So now my second syllable, dent, d, e, normal sound, and then C for closed, indent, indented. Okay, next word, suffix, S, good, I'll circle that. And then my base word, cupcake. Now, if I'm looking at my base word, cupcake, I've got my cupcake, my first syllable, cup, scoop it. U says, uh, give it a breve. And the U's closed off by the P, I'll mark it C for closed. Second syllable is cake. K A, A is making a long vowel sound, so I'll give it the uh, macron. E is saying nothing. What syllable type is that? Vowel consonant E, so I'll mark it V dash E. Vowel consonant E. Okay, last word. The word is publishing. It seems long and it seems tricky, but when we break it down, you'll see how easy it is to spell this word. Publishing. All right, what suffix is on this word? We'll start there. I-N-G, so I'll circle that. And because it's a suffix, I'm gonna circle it, not box it like a glued sound. If it was inside of the word, we would box it like a glued sound, but because it's, in, it's a suffix, I'm gonna circle it to show that it's a suffix. So now my base word is publish. When I'm thinking about the syllables, Publish. I'll look at the first syllable, pub, p, uh, give it a breve, give it a C for closed, and then my second syllable, lish. I have my SH digraph, I say e, I'll give it a breve, and mark it C for closed. So pub, lish, and then with our suffix, publishing. All right, now it's your turn. So make sure you go ahead and grab your paper or pencil, whiteboard and marker, whatever you're going to use to write. Um, you're going to listen to the words in the sentence carefully. Make sure you carefully tap anything out that you can, write it on your paper, and then go back and mark it up. Today we have three trick words, three unit words, and then one sentence. If I'm going too fast, remember you can pause. If you need to hear something again, remember you can rewind. So the first trick word is could. Like, could you pass me the ketchup? Could. The second trick word is should. Like, should I do my homework? Should. <clears throat> the third trick word, word is would. Like, would you like to be my friend? Would. So all of these are very similar. You've got could, should, and then would. Make sure you check those. All right, now for our unit words. Every single one of these has two syllables and a suffix. So make sure you're finding those syllables, marking everything up, and getting those suffixes circled as well. Okay, the first word is expected. Expected, like I expected you to call me. Expected. The next word is dislikes. Dislikes. Like, she dislikes chocolate ice cream. Dislikes. All right. The third unit word is finishing. Finishing. Like, we are finishing our phonics lesson for today. Finishing. Okay, and the sentence only has four words, so it should be quick and easy. Make sure you remember how sentences start and how they end. The sentence is, stop disrupting our class. Stop disrupting our class. 
All right, great work today. Remember, if you need to hear any of those things again, you can go back and listen to them again. I will see you next time. Bye.